Hey friends, I wanted to take a second to show you some really interesting things that are happening in the community around the Windows File Explorer, okay? Now, it is fair to say that uh, there's a lot of hate sometimes towards the Windows File Explorer. Um, and I don't think this is necessarily fair, but uh, there's a lot of legacy stuff going on to make Explorer work. Uh, and certainly people have become frustrated sometimes with some of the performance. But this is the, the modern file explorer in Windows uh, 11. It's tabbed. Uh, it's got dark mode, although you notice that there's a flash of light mode, which is kind of annoying. Uh, you've got modern menus, uh, and then you know you get into those modern menus, and you hit something like options, and then you're in like an older look and feel. So there's a moment there where it's like, oh, it's modern, and no, it's not. And as I understand it, they're they're working through. Uh, those things, but it can be certainly uh, a little bit challenging because it doesn't feel modern at all times. There's new things happening on uh, on search to make it better. So you know, th it's it's not a bad thing, but uh, there are competitors, and I think that's really interesting. So I want to look at two competitors that I think are really impressive and worth maybe you taking a, a bit of time and looking at. So put myself down here in the corner. The first one. It's called Files. You can get it at files.community. And the second one's called File Pilot. So we're going to look at Files Community first. Uh, this is just a, a really aesthetic file manager. I've uh, been following this one for a long time. I believe it's a one-man shop. It's really, really clean. It's very, very aesthetic. It is meant to be attractive. Uh, it is open source, so there's lots of people contributing. Uh, one main fellow who's doing most of the work, but it's a ton of people and it's a very active open source project. So this is called Files. So here's Files. Um, and if I go over to like my GitHub folder here, you can see that it looks like the uh, Windows Explorer, but there's a vibe there that maybe is different. You can see it's a little bit uh, transparent. So there's an acrylic style. Uh, it acknowledges formally uh, WSL. It acknowledges and enumerates cloud drives. I really like this feature. It's got it knows that Dropbox is installed and it's put in there as a as a cloud drive. So it's separating the drives and the cloud drives, and I really like that. Another thing that it does that others don't is it calls out uh, pluggable drives, USB drives, removable drives. So then you've got a formal eject button, which is really really nice. Another thing that makes it nice for uh, for developers is here I have, a, I have a git view. So I can right click and say git and then bring in git status and uh, like the latest commit message. So here we've got git as formal uh, column within this, which is super nice. Another thing that's nice is uh, quick view. So they've got that preview mode like this. So I hit preview and then I've got preview over here. So, you know, Explorer has that as well. But this preview mode, I think, is particularly nice. Quick look mode. And then, of course, when you right-click, you get their options. And then this is kind of cool. Show more options. This list here is an enumeration of all of the different things that are plugged into Explorer. So Files is looking at the things that have tried to plug into Explorer, and it's enumerating them here. So it's trying to plug them into Files as well, which I think is really uh, thoughtful and, uh, and clever. So it's got opening tabs. It's got... Network locations, drives, quick access, all set up the way that you kind of would expect. Um, and then I'm using a center mouse button click, open each of these tabs. I can also use control T, very, very fast. And then I can just hit center click and close those. So really makes moving around really, really fast. And then uh, again, previews and stuff like that. And then you can also tear off tabs. So I just tore one of those tabs off onto another monitor. And now I've got two of them. So now they're next to each other. So very nice, very nice uh, files, files.community. Okay. Okay. That's the first one. Next one is called File Pilot. This is brand new. This just came out. Like this thing blew up the internet a couple of days ago. And I was pretty, uh, pretty blown away. This one is written entirely from scratch. Um, I'm wondering if it's in C. It feels like it's in C. Could be Rust, but it feels very, very Win32. Whoever wrote this really knew what they were doing. 
because it is wicked fast. Now, I think this one's going to cost because they're talking about a, a license in the future, but currently, as of the beta, it is free, uh, and you should absolutely check it out. Like, the thing is, check this out. This is a two megabyte thing. This is the way people used to write software. Now, again, you can complain about the Windows Explorer, but you have to understand that there's there's history there. There's, there's compatibility. There's com objects. There's XAML islands. There's stuff that's plugged in. When you don't have to worry about any compatibility, you can just go nuts and do something from scratch. And that's what FilePilot has, has done. So here's FilePilot. Now, when you first started, this is not what it looks like when you first started. I will say it is a beta. But if you go to Options, when you first started, it will be shockingly small. So I recommend that you go in and you think about the font, the font size, uh, and how it fits into your, your, your plan. I run my monitor at 150%. So for me, I needed to bump it up a bit to make it match my aesthetic. So if you compare File Pilot with, I'm going to pull Explorer over here. I kind of wanted it to be roughly the same size. Uh, and roughly the same style. Now they've got this file pilot quick access button here, which is Control B. I like it like that because it looks more like uh, looks more like uh, exp uh, file explorer. Watch this. If I hold down Control T, I'm going to hold down Control T, and it's going to open new tabs as fast as it can get the keyboard res uh, uh, the keyboard uh, repeat. It's just wicked fast. And then Control W. Is, is closing them. Now that's a silly benchmark, but it makes me happy. Uh, you've got your places, you've got your storage. It doesn't have a call out for cloud stuff yet, but I think that would be a nice touch. You've got a fast filter, which I think is really nice. So if I wanted to look for just Hanselman stuff, that filters down here. And then there's a global filter over here, which is kind of like everything if you're familiar with the everything uh, application. So that's really cool. Um, and then if I hover, let me zoom in here. If I hover over one of these guys, look at that. Very fast, very asynchronous. There's done a lot of work. There's a lot of asynchrony going on here. Uh, you even get this nice thing where it's looking and telling you the size of everything from here down, which I thought was a really nice touch. Now, if I want to go and look at one of those, I'm going to use, the again, the center mouse click. So here, I'm going to center mouse click on this, and I can expand the folder or split right. Look at that. Just luscious. Do that again. That was just so yummy. Okay? That's not the same as a right click. See, right click gives you this. We'll go into that in a minute. I'm going to center click, split right. Watch that. Whoop. Opens up there. So here's one page, here's another page. Super nice. But I can also pick one of these files and then hit space. And then you get that nice preview thing. Again, almost every uh, file manager for Windows has some quick look feature like that. Um, but this I thought was a particularly nice, a nice touch. Uh, there's no coloring that I could see, but there is white space, which I thought was a cool, uh, a cool touch there. Wicked, wicked fast, this thing. This is also kind of cool. When you open up a new tab and then you start dragging, you get an internal, where do you want this, splitter, kind of like Visual Studio. Isn't that cool? The other thing that I thought was nice is if you right click on them, uh, you're getting all of the stuff that you would expect, right? But we saw that we can also get open console. So if I hit open console, it drops me directly into that place. <coughs> Excuse me. That's how you know everything's live, live, live. This is nice too. Puts a real face on the, for the developer. This stuff is out front. Hidden files, system files, toggling file extensions. It's not buried inside of options. Really, really nice stuff. Very happy with both of these tools, both File Pilot and um, Files Community. Would encourage you to check them both out. And then, if you've made it this far into our episode, for for those of you who have, I would also encourage you to check out Midnight Commander. 
Midnight Commander by our wonderful friend Miguel de Acaza, uh, evocative of Norton Commander. It gives you the same vibes. So definitely you've got options, I think is the point here. So a lot of really interesting stuff happening. I would say that between files and uh, and file pilot, there has never been such an exciting kind of like effectively a vote of no confidence against Explorer, but it's competition. And it's I think it's good competition because they're both very Windowsy. They both are unapologetically Windowsy. They appreciate they light up on Windows, uh, but they give uh, they give the Explorer folks something to uh, to uh, aspire to. Both of these are really nice examples of solid-looking uh, Windows apps, and I encourage you to check them both out. Again, we've got File Pilot and Files.Community. Check them both out. This one's in beta. Will eventually cost money. This one is open source, and you can find it on the Windows Store. Let me know if there's a Files application that you prefer that you think is even cooler, and maybe I'll do a review of it. But I just wanted to share both of these because they're just super, super cool. Like and subscribe.